Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you actors of the movie Saturday Night Fever. It is a 1977 American dance drama film directed by John Badham and produced by Robert Stigwood. It stars John Travolta as Tony Manolo, a young Italian-American man from Brooklyn, who spends his weekends dancing and drinking at a local discotheque, while dealing with social tensions and general restlessness and disillusionment with his life, as he feels directionless and trapped in his working-class ethnic neighborhood. The story is based upon Tribal Rights of the New Saturday Night, a mostly fictional article by music writer Nick Conn first published in a June 1976 issue of New York Magazine. The film features music by the Bee Gees and many other prominent artists of the disco era. After watching this video, you'll know their original names and age. I will show you how they looked in 1977, and what's with them now in 2022. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Here we go! Frank Sr. is father of Tony Manero and two other children. He is a volatile, head-slapping papa who messes up son Tony's hair during a heated dinner. He treats Tony like dirt. Played by Val Bisolio. Val died on October 18, 2021 at age 95 near his California home. Flo is mother in Manaro family, a homemaker typical woman. The anxiety and nervousness is all over her face. Her pain is also palpable. She is so desperate for a son in the church. Her life is falling apart after knowing her son leaves the priesthood. Played by Julie Bavasso. She died on September 14, 1991 because of cancer at the age of 61. Dan is owner of the hardware and paint store where Tony working at. Sometimes he gave Tony sage but salty advice. Played by Sam Coppola. In another film roles, he was a cop in Serpico, 1973, starring Al Pacino and a detective in Fatal Attraction, 1987, starring Michael Douglas. He died on February 5, 2012 because of aneurysm complications. Linda is Tony's youngest sister. She is sweet and beautiful girl in the film. Played by Lisa Peluso. Later in 1977, Peluso debuted on daytime television as Wendy Wilkins on Search for Tomorrow, a role she played until December 1985, one year before the series ended. While playing Wendy, an 16-year-old, Peluso received her first on-screen kiss from Kevin Bacon. Pete is the caretaker of Disco Studio where Tony usually practice his dancing. Pete also teaches people to dance at his studio. He was performed by Bert Michaels. Bert was born on December 22, 1943 in New York City, New York, USA. He is known for West Side Story, 1961, Enchanted, 2007, and remake of West Side Story, 2021. Frank Jr., who is Tony's older brother, was the pride of the family since he was ordained a Roman Catholic priest, but he brings despair to their parents and grandmother when he tells them he has quit the priesthood. The role was performed by Martin Shaka. Shaka has played in a number of Broadway and off-Broadway productions. <laughs> Gus is Tony's friend who was attacked by a gang and hospitalized. 
He tells Tony and his friends that his attackers were the Barracudas, a Puerto Rican gang. Played by Bruce Ornstein. Ornstein's acting career started with this movie. Following the release of the film, he has appeared in a number of films, television movies, television program episodes, and stage plays. Double J is the coolest man after Tony. He usually wears brown leather jacket. Played by Paul Pape. Post Saturday Night Fever, he has appeared in over 20 films. He is a member of the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. He is a co-founder of the foundation's Don La Fontaine voiceover lab. You had coffee with your name? Yeah, that's right. We were talking a little bit. Never chew, Tony. Don't you never chew. Hey, look, when my mother dies, give it a job. Joey is a man who loved fashion, popular with the ladies and not a coward in the group. Played by Joseph Kelly. Joseph Kelly was born on March 30, 1950 in Brooklyn, New York, USA. Post Saturday Night Fever, he played a role on another movies, like Suicide Kings, 1997, and Port Charles, 1997. He appeared on television such as 1979 Voices, The Competition and others. Bobby is Tony's youngest friend who's a coward and gotten his girlfriend pregnant. He's always looking for a way out of a situation that he does not want to be in. Bobby tries to get some advice from people, but he was ignored and Bobby becomes depressed and decides to make a fool of himself on the bridge, which he ended up falling off the bridge and dies. Played by Barry Miller. Annette is Tony's former dance partner and hopeful girlfriend, who became rejected by him for another woman. Annette instead searches for someone who's more caring and willing to be her future husband who most likely turned out to be Joey. She was portrayed by Donna Pesco. To prepare for the role in this movie, she had to relearn her Brooklyn accent, which she had significantly reduced for professional reasons. What about the bridge, huh? Stephanie is a woman that Tony has an interest in and asks her to be his new dance partner. Tony and Stephanie practice for the competition as they dance, they share a kiss in the end. When Tony thinks that the contest is rigged, Tony storms off with Stephanie to the car. In the ending of the film, Tony makes up with her and become good friends. She was portrayed by Karen Lynn Gorney. You know how many times somebody told me I was good in my life? Two, twice, two fucking times. This race today and dance and dance at the disco. He sure as fuck never did. Tony is a 19-year-old Italian-American from the Bay Ridge neighborhood of Brooklyn, New York. He lives with his parents, grandmother, and younger sister, and works at a dead-end job in a small hardware store. To escape his day-to-day -day life, Tony goes to 2001 Odyssey, a local discotheque, where he is king of the dance floor and receives the admiration and respect he craves. He was portrayed by John Travolta.